please be advised of the disclaimers. Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is Pinnacle Trading here. So today had a great day. I uh, hope everybody had a great week as well. Uh, ending the day in green and ending the week in green as well. So today I uh, traded DGAS all the way from 87.38 to about 87.91. And I'll go into that trade uh, in a bit. But before we get into that, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified and make sure to support Pinnacle Trading on their social media. All right, let's get into that DGAS trade. So traded it from the 87.38 and let's look at the chart today. So what happened in the morning? Uh, I saw it making that uh, solid run up, stay over uh, VWAP and uh, saw that uh, big move right here. And that was, I saw it as a shakeout, uh, seeing that uh, UGAS, which is the inverse of DGAS, uh, saw that spike right above VWAP and come back down immediately. So I added to my position there. My initial position was 87.6 and I added at about 87.1 their area. So my average was about 87.38 and I sold uh, as soon as I saw that break over 87.5 and sold next position at 87.65 and sold my last position at uh, 87. 0.91 right there and that's it uh, that was just about half hour of trading and came out in the green and called it a day and called it a week of trading so going into Thursday uh, I traded CME because again that natural gas report uh, comes out on Thursday and I was busy throughout the day so didn't really get to trade till about uh, later in the afternoon uh, so about uh, 11 11 a.m. Uh, right before lunchtime so i just stayed out of natural gas on that one since i saw a huge move and wednesday was a nice clean day uh, i traded you gas for about 68 dollars profit and let's get into tuesday so that was the biggest day of the week again started off with loser on you gas caught my losses fast saw a very solid opportunity on the reversal on dgas went in with the little bigger uh share size came out uh green and uh, that that was more than four times uh, my loser. So cut losses fast. Can keep your winners a lot bigger than your losers. And that way you come out green and trade and do that consistently. So that was Tuesday. That was a very good day uh, in the week. And Monday, I started off trading UGAS. Uh, got a profit and I saw volatility go up in the market. So I took UVXY, a small trade on that one. And I came out green. And that was it for my week. So only had one loser. But uh, I had five green days uh, back to back and I've been green last week. So two weeks I've been green as well because mainly just trading the two gas and DGAS natural ETFs and it's been working out very nicely and just taking smaller size right now, uh, one to 200 shares, uh, no more than uh, three, 400 shares, but uh, I can increase my size later on, but right now just focusing on consistency. So let's look at SP 500, do a quick recap. So this closed uh, at about 275, and that's a big area because the entire week we saw it get rejected uh, off the Weebop area and come down, come down. Uh, we saw that big pullback on big drop on Monday, and we saw it close a little bit higher uh, over Weebop, and we saw it get rejected off Weebop and come down all the way down to 272.42 lows, and saw that bounce a little bit. At closed today which is friday uh, right before the weekend so that uh bounce i'm thinking it's just a shorts are covering and people just want to get out of their short positions before the weekend because they don't really know what markets are going to do next week so i'm looking at that as a bull trap and i'll show you why uh looking at the overview of the charts as well so let's look at the yearly chart on this one you see the macd and rsi still coming down you see that 275 area at the 200 SMA, which is uh, very important. So close, just right above it. So I'm looking for it to get rejected off that and open below that on Monday. Let's look at the Fibonacci chart on this one. So you can see that next support is all the way down at 270.95. So I'm looking for SPY to open below 275 Monday and come back down to 270.95. Uh, test it at some point in the... Uh, next week uh, time frame again by end of march i'm looking for markets to maybe test that 265 to 270 range uh, which is right here i think that's a solid pullback area for it to fall to uh, being that it ran up big time from the lows of the previous correction so let's see how that plays out next week 
And uh, let's see how SPY uh, plays out due to the trade news and uh, other stuff that's going on in the market. But uh, I'd still see this as a bull trap and think we have a lot more room to fall for SPY and the rest of the markets as well. So it was a solid week of trading UGAS and DGAS on uh, natural gas ETFs. And if you are interested in trading those with me, receiving those day trading alerts on where to get in and get out on these ones, like I called out everything play by play, uh, as you can see in the chat room. Uh, make sure to head over to my website that's pinnacletrading.us and you can join a one week free trial of the chat room uh, if you click that join now button. If you want to grab a membership uh, which will allow you access to the premium chat room, head over to the membership tab and you can see that we have simple month to month plan pricing, no contracts to, and or nothing like that. I do also have 6 and 12 month plan uh, which is very simple pricing and I do have the mentorship plan so if you are in new to trading or if you want to improve your education on trading or investing itself i uh, teach traders uh, anywhere from beginner traders to advanced uh, traders i cover anything from day trading swing trading uh, investing for retirement uh, both stocks and options so that's simple uh, monthly pricing on that one or you can get it by the hour i uh, recommend the monthly since you get four sessions uh, for the price of three and i teach traders investors live uh, one to one so the plan is uh, adjusted to how uh, the how the trader is and investor uh, is themselves so it's not just a universal plan it's specified just for you so again I hope this video helped you out and make sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell button next to it to stay notified on all my future videos stock picks and see my daily recaps on my progress in trading and uh, make sure to support pinnacle trading on social media as well Again, hope everybody has a great weekend and I'll see you again next week.